So this part was really interesting, and I got to bring up my notes here from the State of the Union. So the State of the Union is Apple's sort of second keynote of the day that's very much focused on developers. And they focused one section of it on focus, the whole new focus infrastructure that exists inside of uh, iOS 15. And one of the things that changes dramatically in iOS 15 is, or gets enhanced dramatically is notifications. We have notification grouping. What do they call it? They called it something that I'm forgetting. Uh, anyway, um, but they, they talked about four different notification levels right now. We have one notification level or type, but now there are four, there are passive notifications. There are active notifications, which are the current ones. So that's what we currently have are active notifications. There are time sensitive notifications. These are things that hang on the lock screen a little bit longer. They're announced by Siri And they will bypass the notification summary. So an active notification might get put into the summary, but the time sensitive ones will be displayed separately. And then there's a fourth one called critical notifications that can play a sound even if your device is muted. But these require a special and Apple approved entitlement in order for the app to be able to send this kind of notification. So not everybody's going to be able to do this, which is good because otherwise it'd be a mess. Uh, but I found that that was very interesting that how they're breaking that out and and that's how they're deciding to put things in the notification summary or not. Um, mm-hmm. Any thoughts on that, Dave? Okay, I or guess John, you're talking yeah. focus, right? That's what we're talking about. Yes. Um, my only concern is that it's nice to have a level of granularity. I'm afraid... Uh, I want to see how they pull it off because it sounds like it may be a bit too complex for most people to deal with. <laughs> it it might. It's, it's like, so wait, hard. now I got to create like these levels of notification importance and stuff. And it's like, I don't have time for that. Well, um, there's the developer side where you, where you have to sort of create a scheme of, mm-hmm. of uh, priority numbers. You know, we're going to make this kind of thing, uh, this kind of a notification. We'll have a, I'll give it this number and I'll give this one a lower number. That's just so they mm-hmm. can work. I don't think that's terrible for a developer. Mm-hmm. I think as a user, though, and I'm, yeah. you know, I haven't seen it, so it's hard to say, but as a user, that's where I worry that the complexity is going to get in, where I have to s- sort of grade everything and figure out I have 17 yeah. levels of, of allowing notifications. And it's, I mean, am, am I going to be able to deal with all these things? Is my, dad going to be able to deal with all these levels of notification right. um, it- in the uh, state of the union. They talked about how there will be, they didn't use this term, but I will, because it's what made sense to me. Series suggestion style recommendations where the, your iPhone will suggest to you, Hey, you might want to call this app, Uh, a work app or this app, a home app, or maybe relegate this. And one of the things they said there, which I thought was huge, again, these buried little nuggets that we find in the state of the union was they said, for example, it can offer to mute a single conversation, a messages conversation for a limited amount of time. I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to mute a single messages conversation, but only for a day or only for an hour. And so it sounds like we will get that granularity in messages. And again, they didn't announce that, but it, if, if Siri's going to be able to offer to have me do it, hopefully I can do it on my own. Yeah, no, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. When you use that example, yeah. because I certainly would, I, I just do it the way it normally was. And then I, there come a time when everybody's chatting about this thing that's happening that I just don't care about. Right. And it's going on. And I know that it's a temporary muting for a day would be great. I, I'll just look for that and I'll set it and I'll, I'll react. To, that's how I'd learn that, that particular version. I, yeah. So I, I like this. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That, so that part I like, there was something else that they they showed in messages. Craig Federighi showed that you could pin a message to come back to it later, but he was using it for like when somebody sent a news article or something, but he definitely showed that you could pin a message. I hope that we have the ability to pin any message we as the user choose because so many times I'll get a text message from someone 
And often what I'll say is, hey, can you message me again so that I leave it unread so I know to come back to this? Because otherwise I, I'm not going to remember to come back. I want to I want to mark a message as unread. Correct. That, just like I can with an email. Just it, like because an email. It's, yeah. it's my reminder that I, I have I have a, a text that somebody sent me that is so important to me because it's telling me I have to do a thing. Yeah. And I'm doing everything I can to not accidentally read that message because right. then I'll lose it. Because then you lose it. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. I want to peek into it without making it read. Or like you said, just simply make it unread uh, would be the would be the key. So um, is, it, is it you brought up Craig Federighi? I did. And and. I just want to say, and if we're if we want to push this off, that's fine. But if we can take a moment, he has become my favorite part of every single keynote. And and part of it is, I think, and I, I clearly Apple gets this and they're playing it up. You could see that they they're turning the dial on Craig to 11 because he did some magic stuff today. Like he pushed a button. And then a hole appeared. <laughs> and then he just, he and I, an hole. iPad fell out of the out, out of the fell. sky, and yeah, there was hands. And and did you hear the little foley edit there, where it went? Zoop. Yes. <laughs> and then yes. he caught it. And then he <laughs> and he had like the up. secret agent car to go to the secret lab, supposedly secret lab. That was that was a beautiful. It was like, car, hey, it's a nice way. car, Craig. Yeah. I don't know what type of car it was, but it looked pretty fancy. Yeah, I, we we don't have to talk about him some more. I just no, wanted to it, mention that because, but it is really interesting am. that they have made him sort of the the. I mean, he's a smart guy, so to call him comic relief is is limiting uh, it unintentionally. But but he is like he is a personable, he is a charismatic guy, mm -hmm. and they are mm -hmm. absolutely embracing that, which they should. I, I mm -hmm. think it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah, no, I love it, and I just I so appreciate it. All the different things he did. He he ran. He jumped out of a screen at one point. Yeah. He just uh, he, he no. Really, he's he he's it the rock star. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's sure. the rock star. Yeah, which is fine. They need one at least. Yeah. <laughs>